hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll just show you around the brand new facelifted 2021 toyota yaris 1.5e so to know more about the toyota yaris you can go and check out my 2021 toyota yaris 1.5g full one around video i will leave the video in the card section above and i will put the link in the description below so without further ado let me just show you around the toyota yaris 1.5e and let's see the differences so now let's check out the exterior of the Toyota Yaris 1.5e. So at the front, nothing much has actually changed compared to the Yaris 1.5g. To get the same front end, the same black bit with the black bit down there. Toyota Best is still behind the laminated area. That's because it still comes with the Toyota Safety Sense, comprising of free collision system, lane departure alert, blind spot monitoring system, and rear cross traffic alert. And the 360 degree camera with the 3D panoramic view monitor is still standard as well which is a really good feature so those safety features are still standard for the 1.5e so for the 1.5e you still get full led headlamps as you can see led headlamps led daytime running lights halogen indicators and you still get led front fog lights which is still a good feature for the 1.5e the engine is still the same it's the 1.5 liter go of UVTI engine so this is the front look of the car it looks really nice in this red paintwork it looks amazing Let's move on. So you get this black bit down there as well for the Yaris 1.5e and the, all the models like the G. So for rims, they are the same rim design as the 1.5g, so nothing much has changed. The rims still remain the same design as the 1.5g. So you still get indicators on the side mirrors with the 360 with the camera right here, part of the 360 degree camera system with the 3D panoramic view monitor. So as you can see, you still get blind spot monitoring with real cost traffic alert, which is a good thing. So you get your blind spot indicator right here, as you can see. So one major difference compared to the Yaris 1.5G is that for the Yaris 1.5E, you don't get chrome door handles. You get body colored door handles as you can see. So that's one way that you can differentiate between the 1.5G and 1.5E. So for the E, you don't get chrome door handles you get body colored door handles. And for the 1.5e, you don't get killer sentry for the passenger side. So that's one difference as well. So you get, a, so you get the shark fin antenna up there, as mentioned just now. So this car comes with the optional arrow kit, so therefore you get the rear spoiler. Let me give you a side look of the car. Overall, the Yaris looks really nice. It's one of the best hatchbacks out there, if you ask me. The design is great, and I really love the design. So for the rear end, nothing much has changed compared to the 1.5G so the tail lights are still the same you get LED combination tail lamps you can see LED brake lights, LED tail lamps but you still get halogen indicators and halogen reversing lights so you get the Yaris lettering right there you get the badge and the one major difference is you get the E badging instead of G badging so this is the rear end overall nothing much has changed for the rear end but it still looks really nice the rims down there so for the 1.5G, you actually get keyless sentry on both front doors. But for the 1.5E, you only get the keyless sentry for the driver's side door. So that's the major difference. And as mentioned just now, for you get body colored door handles instead of chrome door handles for the 1.5E. So that's the interior right there. Now let's get back to the front. So one thing worth mentioning, you still get the camera up there for your Toyota Safety Sense. So that's for your pre-crash system. And right here you have your front digital video recorder as well, the front dash cam. These two are standard for the 1.5e. So now let's take a look at the interior. So now let's take a look at the interior of the Yaris 1.5e. So Kilo Sentry is still standard for the driver's side door. For the 1.5G, you get for both front doors, but for the E, you get only for the driver's side door. So on the doors, everything is still the same. Only thing, for the G, you get chrome door handles. For the 1.5E, you get black door handles. You don't get chrome. So that's one difference. Controls are all the same. This part is finished in fabric. For the 1.5G, you get blue contrast stitching. But for the E, it's just finished in plain fabric. So that's one difference. Illuminated Yaris door sills are still standard. Right here, you get your push start button. 
all these buttons are still remain standard as the 1.5G still get your headlight level adjustment storage area is still the same your bonnet release lever is right there fuel door release is right here the driver's seat is still in fabric as you can see you can see the fabric seats are still the same you get blue contrast stitching with this blue finishing and they are manually adjusted so this lever controls the seat bag so controls the seat height while this bar adjusts the seat position Overall, it's still the same. Let's get in. So the interior is pretty much the same, but there are some differences that I'll point out. So let's close the door. As you can see, you still get your blue Optitron meters with the 4.2 inch MID multi-information display. So you control the MID with the buttons right here. You can control it up and down, left and right. You have your back button, you're okay and use this button to go through the auto and trip display located within the instrument cluster so you have your seat track bluetooth telephone control volume controls press and hold this button to mute the system and press this button to go through your different mode selections so one big difference for the 1.5e is that you don't get a leather wrapped steering wheel instead you get a urethane wrapped steering wheel but it still has sport grips at 10 and 2 this is not a big difference for me, it's still quite alright but some people would prefer the leather wrap steering wheel so on the right stock you have your light and indicator controls you get automatic headlamps, front and rear fog lights as well and on the left stock you have your wipe controls steering wheel still remains tilted and telescopic you adjust it using the lever down here so touch screen head unit is pretty much the same as the 105G you still get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto you get the 3D panoramic view monitor system you can bring up the display on the touch screen so that's pretty much the same yes one big difference for the 1.5e is that you don't get the single zone automatic climate control system instead you get a manual air conditioning system so it's fully manual so you can adjust your fan speed using this knob you can adjust your temperature different modes so this is one drawback if you get the 1.5e you don't get the automatic climate control system so you get cup holders same gear shifter comes with the seven speed cvt transmission still the same right here you get a 12 volt socket a storage area and brake right here front center armrest in fabric and it reveals the wireless charger system this is optional as well you can add that depending so this is the interior so one major difference is you don't get auto dimming rear view mirror instead you get manual dimming rear view mirror for the 1.5e your interior lights up here and reading lights sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror passenger side does get a vanity mirror as well web handle for the driver up here so overall the interior is quite good nothing much has changed so let me just show you the rear seats So rear seats are pretty much the same. You can check out my Yaris Super 5G for more details. As you can see, you still get the fabric seats with headrest adjustments for front and rear. Yaris dorsals are still the same, they are illuminated. Overall, pretty much the same. So for the boot lid, it's still the same. You have only one way to release it, which is right here. So boot space is quite good, as you can see. You get your spare tire down there. You can see full size spare tire. So overall, the boot is quite alright. Check out my Yaris 1.5G for more information. Fuel door right here. You can see pretty much the same. Everything is pretty much the same as the 1.5G. Only minor differences. But the 1.5G will have much more differences. Overall, the same door panels, the same glove box, it dips down slowly to make it more elegant. So there's the interior, overall pretty much the same. Overall, pretty much the same. So that's it for today's video on the 2021 
Twitter Yaris from my E. Thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and goodbye.